Well, it's been a couple of days since the unthinkable happened. MSW closing its doors as an act of promotion. And as everyone knows or should know, I was there from day one. I, along with Fire, uh, was the founder of the company back in 2001. I wrestled the very first MSW match. I've held the MSW World Heavyweight Championship uh, more times th than anyone else, you know. And it's something that for over 12 years has been a huge part of my life, has been a passion, uh, just a driving force, and has really affected a lot of aspects of my life. It's been something that I've poured a lot of time, energy, money, creativity into, uh, and really something that I uh, really put a lot into building up from scratch. Uh, and it's really kind of a bittersweet ending because you know you never really want to see something like this end. Uh, but at the same time, to think back over a dozen years of great moments, memories uh, that have been that have come from MSW, uh, just making so many new friends and making uh, meeting so many new people, you know, going to uh, to Las Vegas to wrestle. I mean, that wasn't the best memory, but you know, it's it, it's something. Um, you know, really being a part of NCW, which became the GWA. Uh, you know, I couldn't even begin to list all the people uh, that I've had the honor and privilege of working with because I know I would end up leaving out so many. It's just such a long list. But uh, I hope that everyone, uh, you know, that is watching this, you know, whether you are a fan of MSW or whether you actually were a wrestler or actually part of a company, you know, I hope that you will all realize that you know you contributed a lot to this and, and take some ownership of uh, what was created you know a little a little piece of everybody's spirit and heart is is in the legacy of MSW and this is not really a moment that I was prepared for you know, you never really can be prepared for something like this, you know, and all good things eventually have to come to an end. Um, but I'm just very glad that I had the great privilege and the great honor of being a part of this, being able to bring this to the fans and, you know, having that mission from day one, which we had to bring actual wrestling to backyard wrestling. Because at the time, really, backyard wrestling was uh, full of the hardcore federations, the light tubes and the glass and fire and you know really I felt that we needed a better uh, a better influence on that and that is something that I think we brought uh, and we were really uh, helped pave the way for NCW and uh, a lot of these other federations to come bring that as well uh, over the 12 years, we've had hundreds of matches. We've had 71 shows. We've had uh, dozens of wrestlers come through. Some had only one match or only on one show. Some stayed 12 years like Lawrence and myself. Uh, we've had six Hall of Famers. We've had Star Caves every year. We've had uh, many classic matches, you know, just, just for starters, who could forget? Uh, Lawrence Alfred versus The Advocate at Starcade 2011, or the Iron Man match between him and myself at Mid-South Mania 3, or even going way back in time, you know, we had classic matches between Kung Fu Jack and the Law at Extreme Unleashed 2002, or Fire and the Law at Jealousy. And then, of course, we have men such as Jet and Lo Ace who came in with the XWF and dominated for years. Uh, really just an extraordinary group of talents that we've had over the years rotating in and out uh, and it's something that you know when we started you know we had big dreams and big aspirations but we never really envisioned that it would be something as great as it's become 
you know, we had the trust place in us to carry the World Backyard Wrestling Championship for years, and that title's been around since 1971. And it's amazing that Chris Orleans and the board of directors at the time uh, really chose us, and that shows a lot of uh, what everybody brought to the table in terms of uh, just making this such a great place. Uh, and, you know, we've had so many great moments and matches that you can relive on YouTube, but a lot of the, uh, the best stuff in MSW, I'd always said for years, happened uh, off camera, and there were so many great times, you know. Uh, just great times, you know, whether it's uh, something funny that happened off camera or, you know, just being able to hang out with people and really just enjoy things. Uh, it's definitely something that I found to be a, a great experience. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank everybody uh, for contributing, everybody for making MSW possible, everything from everybody for making it real. Uh, this went from something that was just a, an idea back in 2000, 2001, and it's something that's now worldwide on YouTube. Hundreds of matches, just amazing. And, you know, over the years, I've seen, you know, everybody that's come through the company, I've wrestled most of them. Uh, and I have always been in awe of many of our great talents. And I would like to thank everybody who contributed in any way. And that goes for you, the fans, too. Everybody who viewed the videos, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's back on the days when we, showed the, when we would show the VHS tapes to people, uh, <laughs> I remember, I mean, even showing them in classes in high school and things like that. You know, it's really, a, really a ton of fun, and that's the legacy that I want to uh, to feel that MSW is left behind, and that's the legacy that I want to remember it for. So once again, thank you to everybody, uh, and I wish everybody the best uh, in their future endeavors. And you know, MSW is retired now. Uh, it had a great run, but you never know what other projects might be in store. So, one last time, I have to say, now that's a clinic.